one of the things I've learned in this genre, folks, never say never. What's going on, folks? JJ here. Today's video is a reaction video to the latest interview with Jeff Nadeau and Louis Kasman. But before we get into all that, if you're new to the channel or you have been here before and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please take a moment of your time, go right down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So when I do drop a video, you'll be notified. Today's video is about Louis Kasman interview with Jeff Nadeau, or Jeff Nadeau's interview with Louis Kasman, however you want to put it. Jeff earlier this year did an interview with Louis Kasman. That interview didn't go so well, even after the interview did not go so well. Jeff Nadeau's been on record about what happened behind the scenes. And said that he probably was not going to ever interview Louis Kasman again or have anything to do with him. Well, lo and behold, he's given Louis another chance, or Louis gave him another chance, or they both gave each other another chance. This is not a bashing video. Now, after the first interview Jeff did with Louis, I came out with a video about the things that Louis Kasman was known for. Wearing a wire against John Gotti Sr.'s widow. The kids of John Sr., some that weren't even involved in the world of the mafia. I mean, wasn't involved in that life. He tried to jam up two lawyers. He was getting paid by the U.S. government. He was getting 144000 a year to inform on the Gottis. These are things he's well known for. I did a video on that. Lewis comes in my comment section. I do two more videos on Lewis. Like I said, this is not a bashing video. This is public record. I stand by those videos. I'm here to judge the latest interview that Jeff did with Lewis. In my opinion, that interview went well. In my opinion, the interview went well, except for this. What could have made it better? He didn't have to get on there and bash Sammy, and he didn't have to get on there bashing John Jr. every chance he got. Other than that, it would have been a great, a great, superb interview. One of the questions I do have coming from that interview in the interview, Lewis Kasman states that he has a great respect for, basically has a great respect for Mikey Scars. Talks about how Marky, Mikey Scars <laughs> held the family together after Sammy flipped. Question I have, if you have such great respect for Mikey Scars, I think he's top notch, one of the great guys in the Gambino family. And John Jr. is such a low life, according to you, Louis Kasman. Why would you want them to mend the fences, bury the hatchet, figuratively speaking, speaking, and make up? If John Jr. is so bad and you have this great respect for Mikey Scars, would you want that? Me personally, if that was the case if if I had a friend or somebody I thought so highly of, I wouldn't want them to mend the fence with somebody I thought was a low life. I just wouldn't do that. And I publicly wouldn't say it. So that's the only question I got out of the, the whole thing. Other than that, it was a good interview. Could have been could have been better. Like I said, if bashing taken out of it. And just did told your story. Been a great interview. 
so folks, what did you think of the latest Lewis Kasman and Jeff Nadu video? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to that interview and the comment section below. Well, folks, I'm fixing to head on out. Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's several different ways. There's Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, or you can buy me a cup of coffee. Links are in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. And remember, folks, when it comes to doing the right thing, helping others out, making this world a better place, try it. It does work. And I'm out of here. God bless. Bye-bye.